Well, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for uh, being here, uh, not just the legislators, but also uh, partners in the nonprofit sector as well, uh, Ohio Perg, and also folks from the Buckeye Institute. Uh, it's nice when you can bring folks together uh, from different philosophical mindsets. Uh, we also applaud uh, uh, Teresa Fetter, who's a co-sponsor of the legislation. We're hopeful that this uh, moves forward in a bipartisan uh, type of manner. Because transparency is not about being a Democrat or Republican, uh, it's about shining sunlight on the spending uh, of taxpayer dollars. And uh, with all the uh, gridlock uh, and political discourse in America today, uh, I'm thankful that Representative DeVilla and the other legislators up here have identified an issue that can bring together uh, Democrats and Republicans. Uh, as Representative DeVilla mentioned, uh, this uh, coincides with the Treasurer's Transparency Project that we launched uh, a few years ago. Uh, and uh, we really launched it made possible by the Buckingham Institute, who was the first organization to take the public employee salary data and other benefit data and put it online. And we were trying to build upon the successes uh, of what the Buckeye Institute did. Uh, this legislation essentially calls for taking the state's checkbook and putting it on the internet. Uh, and when we take the state's checkbook and put it on the internet, it means that moms and dads sit at home in their kitchen computer, uh, that grandmas and grandpas sit at home uh, on their computer, that a 16-year-old high school student uh, on an iPad in a social studies classroom uh, can access tax dollars and see how they're being spent. And net-net uh, for families, uh, for school kids, and for taxpayers in general, uh, this is a win because the more sh sunlight we can shine on the taxpayer spending, the more efficient government will be. Uh, I believe in a concept that Dave Yost has used uh, called the citizen audit, uh, where citizens can actually look and audit the books uh, of a state government and local government. Uh, when you give them that information, when you make it easily accessible, uh, on the internet, uh, it allows uh, citizens the opportunity to hold feet to the fire uh, of those uh, public officials who need to be held accountable by taxpayers. And uh, I applaud Representative Villa, the other legislators up here, for uh, sponsoring the legislation. And I'm hopeful that it'll move swiftly through the House, onto the Senate, and uh, pass in a bipartisan fashion. Thank you.